Well, hello, good people. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about PHP embedded into HTML. Because that is what this language is all about. PHP powers 80% of all websites out there approximately. Many frameworks are built upon it and it is embedded into HTML. So let's stop declaring variables and all this abstract stuff. We will dive right into how to use PHP on an actual website because let's face it, that's why you came here. Let us go. Alrighty, I built a basic HTML form that you can see here, okay? If you don't understand everything that is written here, no worries, we will get to that. It is easy. PHP 7 in a form has just opening and closing tags and that's it. Okay, what does that mean? This is a basic HTML form. Thanks for the feedback, by the way. I got a feedback from a fellow viewer and he told me that the text in my text editor is a little too small. I uh, highly enlarged this here. I hope it is big enough. If not, please let me know because obviously this needs to be readable for everybody. Alrighty, then let's get started. We will build a basic form and just echo out what the user inputs. Okay, let's start with a divider and I already included Bootstrap, which is a CSS um, framework. No worries about that. It's just to make things look prettier. All right, I'll do a div class container with a background warning, which is yellow. And um, don't worry about that now. It's just to make it all look a little prettier. Now what's important is the following. Wait, wait. let's beautify this. Okay. Uh, no, I don't like this. Like that. Okay. So what do we do here? First things first, when you want the user to make some input, like in Google, you know, there's an input window where you can put text or an email or anything that you want. That is always a form. Put the opening tag, put the closing tag, and we will continue to work within here. Next thing, the method of this should be post. Okay, there's another one, but we will use post because it's way safer. We can, we will get into this later. Okay, just know for now that the form method should be equal to post. You can't go wrong with that. All right. So next thing, by the way, let's refresh and you see there's still nothing here. Okay. So we are in our form. We want the user to input his name. So now follows the input type. Well, type is easy. It's a text. And the name of this input is important too, because that's how PHP can track what the user put in this form. So we put the name of this to name two. And this is how it looks now. You see, that's the name. And that's a basic HTML input form. Now, obviously, should erase that, that's from before. Now, obviously, the input has to be sent somewhere in order to, for PHP to see what the value is. We will see this here in the browser window later too. This is highly interesting, folks. And um, yeah, well, I, I, I just love that because you can make websites do stuff here, you know, and work with input. So we have the name, we have the input type. Now this input obviously has to be sent. So we choose to take a button, hit tab, that's a button. Okay. This needs a name too. Usually it is submit. And now what you want to be written in this button is up to you. I will just put send and this is how it looks. Now we have an input form and a button. Okay. So, so far, so good. Now, obviously, if I put fill in here and I hit send, nothing happens. And why is that? Well, 
nothing is it is sent but there is nobody who receives it so we have the input type text we have a variable called name we have a type of a submit button and we have a form method of post but something has to happen with that you know let's indent this for better readability this is where php comes in folks we're finally there php will work like this put the opening php tag put the closing php tag all right you see if you don't do that form div and all the rest of the html document get screwed so if you uh, if you forgot that uh, nothing will work here okay so opening tag closing tag so what we want to do now just for testing purposes is we want the name that the user put in we want it to echo it out so it is right here let me enlarge this too right next to the button okay very easy very basic just to get to know all the stuff so remember the if condition <laughs> already now we need to use it okay so we put if is set is set is a function that checks whether something is set well that's that's what it says it's not very important for you now just remember that this is a function built into a php which does something so how do you want to catch this variable here because you want to have the variable called name the method how the variable gets sent is post and in php this looks like this dollar undersign post then those uh, not curly brackets like the uh, the flat brackets i don't know the technical term i'm sorry english is not my mother tongue but i hope you understand what i mean so these are usual brackets these are the flat brackets from now on and there's the curly brackets which we will use now so post so this gets the um submit value of post of our button and basically what we're saying here is if the button has been pushed so if the value submit exists then curly brackets remember the if uh, if condition so if this happened then please echo out the posted val variable like i explained now called name okay that's it so this here says if the button has been pushed then echo out the name that has been put in let's try it folks let's put in here walter send walter and here we go Ta-da! this is how php works in html there's all there is we got a variable we checked whether the button has been pushed we always do this with this so-called super global named post which we defined here that we use it there's also get but uh, we will talk in another video about why you should prefer post to get and well and if the button has been pushed then echo out the name this is what we did here because the input type is text and the name is name obviously if i had called this differently like input type list is text and name is um, I don't know like a uh, family name this will not work see I put something in here and obviously it doesn't work and why doesn't it work because it's undefined name on line 22 you see this is related one to another and the submit button as well that's important okay so folks that was your first uh la -la -la -la, i'll screw it up here name 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 refresh winning winning there we go okay folks i hope this helped i hope you could learn something um we, we are going to talk about all these things in specific but just know that I wanted to have a PHP file within an HTML file very quickly to make you see what it does, what, what you're actually learning here, because you already learned in your like 
very, like one very early lesson you already learned how to use PHP within HTML and you made it do something. I mean, isn't that cool? All right, I'll see you in the next tutorial.